Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies, where we develop great art habits. We're going to be working with this habit today, Observant Owen. Observant Owen is like that little ant that's taking a quiet little walk across a piece of artwork and noticing everything. Owen is going to take a walk across two cans. Toucans are a very interesting bird. They have over 40 different species of toucans. Their beaks alone are about seven inches long, and they are all different colors, the beaks, that is, and they change color as they get older. So we're going to be inspired by the beautiful colors of the toucan. This toucan, if you notice, has some purple, blues, orange, yellows, and greens in the beak. Love its blue feet. This is probably the, the typical type of toucan you think of with the orange beak and the beautiful blue eye. So toucans are what we're going to be inspired with today. We're going to talk about the shapes that are going to be used to create the toucan and also the colors. So I'm going to start with a thick black sharpie and I'm going to start with the simple circle or dot for the eye of our toucan. I'm going to go around that dot with a circle and then I'm going to start with the beak and I'm going to start with a simple vertical line um, with the eye right kind of smack in the middle and then a horizontal line right in the middle of that or uh, vertical line. So this is the inside or the line where the top beak and the lower beak come together. So I'm going to come up here and almost like a following leader kind of thing and attach that line to the top and then I'm going to draw the bottom beak straight out. Now the beaks often have these beautiful different types of designs on them and the colors are spectacular and like I said um, the colors change as the toucan gets older. So after I have the eye and the beak I'm now going to go around and create the shape of the head. So it's just a nice simple oval that's coming down to a straight line. I'm going to have just his head up here. I'm not going to do too much with his body. I'm going to then create some more of those beautiful lines. Another oval and then another one because I'm going to give him some multiple colors. So I'm having my toucan look kind of over his back. So I'm going to go ahead and put that big wing in for the back part of my toucan. So I'm done using the big thick sharpie because this guy is in the foreground so I made his lines a little bit thicker. Now I'm going to start to add the toucans in the background. And I'm going to try to do different species and different colors just to make my picture that much more interesting. I'm going to have my two cans sitting on a branch. Again, I'm going to start with that dot for the eye, a circle around, a vertical line, and this time I'm going to have the beak open. So I'm going to draw a sideways letter V and then connect that line down for the bottom part and then that line up for the top part. Perhaps I want to create an, a more interesting design on this beak, maybe some different colors. I'm then going to add some more of those colorful details that our toucans have going to come down here for his head and his 
body part. I'm going to have that wing kind of open, hanging in the back of that branch like he's maybe thinking about taking off. I'm going to add those tail feathers with simple triangles. Now this time I'm going to add the feet, those beautiful blue feet. And I'm going to just have some triangles there, almost like the letter W or M. To me it looks like a W to you, probably an M. So there are his feet. I'm going to go over here and add another toucan. Again, that dot and that circle. This toucan, I'm going to have his mouth partially opened. So there's that vertical line and horizontal line. Maybe he's having a conversation with the little guy next to him. So I'm just going to have the little V instead of a very big one starting at the inside of that horizontal line. I'm going to start it out here and then bring it down. I'm going to make that black part a little bit wider for a new species of toucans. I'm going to come around for his head. I'm going to add those ovals again for those beautiful colors that are around the toucan's head. And this time I'm going to add the wing that is kind of like next to my toucan, the bottom part. And again, I'm going to make that blue claw. And voila. So I have my toucans, three different types. I'm going to now think about what kind of foliage I want to add for my branches. And um, so it doesn't have to be anything too exciting. I could just come out here, perhaps add a branch, have a leaf coming up, have fun. Not real sure what those leaves look like, so we can just give it a nice organic shape. Perhaps maybe we want to add some more leaves around, um, I guess, the border of our picture, because we really want our picture of the toucan to be what is um, exciting and what's going to be the focal point. So we'll add some more leaves in here. Maybe add some leaves coming up here. Just nice border. Give it some more color, make it look a little bit more interesting. Maybe some more of those little organic shapes coming around. I think maybe we could probably put another one down here. This kind of space needs a little something something have another one coming off here, fill in that area, and then add some more leaves here. Give it a nice little border. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give our picture some color. So I'm finished with all my lines and my shapes for my toucan. I'm now going to create some colors. And I, I know starting in the background is nothing that you would like to do. You want to really get started on making those beautiful toucans all different colors. But I'm going to do the background first. So if I make any mistakes, I can go over them when I paint my toucan. I'm going to double load my paintbrush so I have a variety of white and blue that'll just make for a more exciting background. And I won't be worried too much about blending it, just filling in the space. And as you go, those colors will blend themselves. Again, I'm just going to double load my brush, go around the toucan 
go around those leaves. Really just make some beautiful background blues for that wonderful sky. I had no idea that there were so many different species of toucans. I, when I saw the one with the green beak with the purples and the oranges, I'm like, hmm, someone photoshopping that? And then I realized, nope, that's a toucan. 40 different types of tou toucans. Had no idea. See, I'm learning with you. Also didn't realize that um, they the beaks change color as the toucan gets older. And I also saw a video on baby toucans and their beaks grow at a remarkable rate. Um, the gentleman, the zookeeper, said he went away on vacation and came back a week later and the baby toucan's beak had grown three inches. So whoa, they eat lots of fruit um, and they eat a lot of fruit. I'm sure they need to keep up with that growth of that beak. So after you get done applying the background color, you probably want to go in and add some of that color to those different leaves. And then you can start that exciting approach to giving color to your toucans. So here is my finished piece. Um, I tried to do a variety of toucans. Um, started with the traditional um, orange toucan beak, but like I said, I really just loved that color that I just never thought existed before, so I tried to recreate that. I liked the little red parts um, around the that were kind of like hidden in the toucan. I thought they were just pure black, and see around his chest here, he has some red. So have fun with it. Give your toucans as many different colors as you can. Um, have fun. You can never paint enough color in my book. So again, we're creating toucans with lines, shapes, and colors. Thanks for joining me and have fun.